Good morning, friends. Hope you're all doing really well. Good morning from the UK. Uh, so I'm just on very quickly with a very quick word of knowledge from um, that the Lord has put in my heart to give today. Um, it might be a word that needs prayer on, and I would like you to pray on this uh, with me. Um, so as you know, um, we're entering into uh, difficult times in the UK, and I would like you to really pray uh, for the UK and, uh, you know, for the people and for the government and also around the world as well. But um, the word that I've got in my heart is that we are entering into difficult times at the moment where we're seeing that money is actually being drained and um, we're seeing councils are losing um, their finances and you know obviously the government doesn't tell us everything uh, but if it's been announced on the news and we are seeing uh, so many councils either you know short on money or going bankrupt uh, this is quite alarming because a lot of the um a lot of the things in society functions around what councils fund fund and also with schools as well i work in a school and we are seeing that um schools are not going to be governed by council soon and um, that soon they will be going under providers uh, but that is also another thing where i uh, believe in my heart that it will be uh, something in the future where it will be privatized and people might have to pay, uh, you know, towards education, uh, just like universities. And I think even with uh, the NHS, we are looking at things going down that way as well, uh, which that means spells out that we are in a bit of a crisis in the UK. Maybe it's the same in other areas around the world. Uh, but I felt in my heart uh, and I felt inclined to mention that we need to really pull our weight uh, with as Christians to pray and also not to be seeking things that are, uh, you know, of this world. And if we want things to live a simple life, uh, you know, we don't want to buy uh, you know, uh, things that are um, extravagant at the moment, uh, like massive houses and, you know, top range cars, because soon we're going to see uh, people in society running out of money and coming and, you know, going and breaking into people's homes, breaking into shops, breaking, and it's already happening. Um, so you want to live a simple life, you know, I just say to you, uh, focus on the Lord and just do your best to live as godly as you can um, and pray all the time. Please don't miss on your Christian faith by not pay, praying, by not attending church, by not praising and worshipping God. You know, these are things we need to be doing now because when the Lord talks about the 10 virgins, uh, you know, um, that missed out on the banquet, on the sort of the wedding, it wasn't, um, you know, he said that they had oil but they didn't have enough oil and some of them fell asleep but they stayed awake to know that he's coming and the other five uh, so five stayed awake and the other five, uh, they lost their way. They kind of got lost. And this is, we're entering into times like that where we need to have our lamp lit. We need to understand the priorities in life and not sort of like put emphasis on, uh, you know, on ourselves and what we want, but just focus on what Jesus is asking us to do and really, really pray for what God is asking us, you know, as Christians to uh, be in prayer in, um, you know, um, just um, not being uh, just concerned about ourselves, but be mindful of other people. Uh, and it, this is not just about church, but also, you know, our characters, Christians outside of church, uh, to not just live, to not live extravagantly at a time like this, where you know uh, that the enemy is going to come and steal from you. And, you know, you just want to make sure you keep investing in the house of God. Whatever you sow into the house of God, you will get, uh, you know, God will protect you and he will keep the devourer away from you. And that's his promise in the book of Malachi 3, that he has said he will protect us and look after us. So I just want to urge you that we are entering into times where it's getting really difficult. Uh, a lot of things will become privatized. Many people are going to become poorer because they're not going to be able to, uh, you know, afford things. Uh, what I'm seeing at the moment when I'm working in school is uh, people are taking advantage of the education system. A lot of people are rebelling against it. And um, also a lot of people are uh, 
uh, you know, not attending school. So they're having to get taxes to other provisions which the council is providing for them. And we're spending thousands in of pounds in money just to send kids on provisions in out of uh, sort of areas, locations where, uh, you know, they're not wanting to stay in school or they're not, you know, wanting to obey the system. And all this is causing because we're not living lives in the way God has told us to live. And uh, everyone, especially in the UK, lives in um, sort of a system of um, uh, complaints. You know, everything is their right. Everything they everything is about complaining. And unfortunately, when a society functions like this, it will break down. And we just need to be vigilant and keep praying and keep mindful uh, to focus on Jesus and on the things that the Lord has told us to do. Uh, so I just wanted to bless you. And I pray that you will uh, really pray with me on this. And, you know, because it is getting very difficult in the UK, uh, we are getting into times where we're going to see uh, that, the, you know, uh, even food is going to be an issue for so, so many people here, even those who've been doing well, they're going to have problems with the basics. Uh, so pray with me um, and also pray for other countries as well. You know, don't forget to pray for other countries, especially for Israel, because God says, uh, you know, blessed are you when you pray uh, for, uh, you know, the peace of Jerusalem, the peace of Israel. Uh, so keep them in mind as well. And God bless you. I pray you have a great week um, and speak to you soon. Bye for now.